Hi, Uzair Izzad here with the Cisco TAC Firewall team. In this video, I want to show you how you can onboard a Firepower Threat Defense FTD on Cisco Defense Orchestrator. Before we get started, I just want to take a minute here to highlight some of the prerequisites that are needed to onboard a FTD to CDO. Make sure that the FTD is running version 7.2 or later. Confirm that the FTD has internet access. Internet access will be required on the FTD to connect to the CDO. Please confirm that the FTD is not already registered to the smart listing. Once you've checked off all the prerequisites, you should be good to proceed with the FTD registration. Log into your CDO tenant from the Cisco Defense Orchestrator webpage. Once you've logged in, notice on the left side of the CDO tenant page there is a menu bar. Find inventory and click on it. On the inventory page, notice there is a blue add button on the top right of the screen. Click on the add button. On the next page, we can see a list of devices that are supported and can be managed through CDO. For demo purposes, we will be covering FTD. Select FTD. There are three ways to onboard a FTD to the CDO. Using registration key, using serial number, and deploying FTD to the cloud provider. We will be using the registration key method for this demonstration. Click on use CLI registration key. On the first step, provide the name for the device and click Next. On the next step, please select the access control policy that you want to be assigned for this FTD. You can use a default policy or create a new one. Once the access control policy is selected, click Next. Next step is the license. Please select the hardware type whether the onboarding FTD is a physical appliance or a virtual FTD. If the FTD is a virtual appliance, also choose the correct performance tier from the drop-down menu. As for the licenses, Essential License or Base License is enabled by default. Please select the other license that you would like to enable on this FTD from the list. Once selected, click Next. On the next step, copy the CLI command from the CDO and run the command on your FTD from the CLI. Also run the command show managers to verify that the manager is now configured properly on the FTD. Navigate back to the CDO page, click next. FTD onboarding process is now started. Usually it takes about five minutes for the registration to be completed. The last step is to add groups or labels to the FTD if you would like. Once the group or label is added to the device, Click on Inventory. On the Inventory page, top right corner under the Device Details shows you the status of the registration. FTD registration goes through different phases, onboarding, discovery, and syncing. Once the device registration is fully completed, the device will show as online on the Inventory page. Thank you for watching.